Hello everyone, this is my new cha YouTube channel and in this channel we discuss about different medical topic and for today we will discuss about tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a communicable chronic chronomatous disease caused by mycobacterium uh, tuberculosis. And uh, to say a little about this bacteria, mycobacterium tuberculosis as well as all species of mycobacterium is non-spore forming, non-motile and obligate arrows. By saying obligate arrows, uh, this species or species of mycobacterium tuberculosis, uh, they are uh, they they for their growth they are dependent on the oxygen or on the presence of oxygen. And the other important hallmark of hallmark of all mycobacterium species is their acid fastness uh, as you know as you know with gram staining procedure the first first you will apply the primary stain especially the carbon fistion and second you will add uh, uh, more than like grams iodine in the third you will uh, uh, use agents like ethanol and acetate as well as mixture of both, both those alcohols and our other alcohol to make decolorization or rapid decolorization. So uh, this mycobacterium tuberculosis as well as the species of uh, mycobacterium will resist this, this decolorization. What by mean resist decolorization? So in when we uh, add uh, the third step, we, when we add the uh, uh, alcohols, in gram staining procedure, that is to rinse or to, to wash out the, the, the color of carbon fustian. But this bacteria, the bacteria, mycobacterium tuberculosis, resist the decolorization with ethanol, ethanol. So they contain the color of carbon fustian, commonly, which is red or pink. So in this, in this, in this, in this picture, you see that. Those black arrows so shows the red, uh, the, the, the color that is the color of the carbon fistian. And they, when they stay this, uh, or this, the, this mycobacterium stay or continue staining this, this the color of carbon fistian, which is red. Other, when you see this, uh, this color, other blue colors, those are some uh, uh, debris, the debris or other. Uh, bacterium. Otherwise, this red one is the mycobacterium tuberculosis or other species, which uh, which is acid fast bacteria. When we come to the natural history, uh, in natural history of this mycobacterium tuberculosis, a person first will be exposed. Exposure means they have significant contact and or they share air, but lack proof of infection. For example, a person may live with uh, somebody infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis in in the same home, or they share they may share the same rooms. Like for example, uh, they may share the same prison and like. So that's some risk factor. Uh, so this exposure exposed person, all exposed person doesn't develop infection. So the the this person, exposed person, means they have exposed, only exposed. But the the, the mycobacterium tuberculosis doesn't enter in their body. So the TSCT or tuberculin insulin test, IGRA or the, the interferon gamma release assay is negative, just x-ray physical examination is very normal and sinus symptoms are not present in exposed person only. When you come to infection from those 90 to 90 from the to, uh, 90 to 85 up to 90 percent of exposed person is doesn't develop infection only five to ten percent of those exposed person for mycobacterium tuberculosis will develop infection that means they inhale droplet nuclei which survive intracellularly with within the lung or associated lymphoid uh, tissue. And at this time, if the person is infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis, one of the signs is they will be positive for TSCT or IGRA, and that is interferon gamma release assay. They become positive because 
this mycobacterium tuberculosis is present in their blood. So uh, the other is they, they, this infected person uh, doesn't have any sign symptom in their physical examination is very normal. But sometimes this chest X-ray may reveal some granuloma or calcification. Uh, otherwise, this person is recognized as a, a latent tuberculosis, or they may uh, totally uh, contain the disease. This person may totally contain the disease, or they may develop latent TB. At that time, at latent TB, we may see some calcification or granuloma in chest X-ray. One thing I should have to ask is, is this latent tuberculosis patient uh, have, have a, uh, can, can this patient transmit latent tuberculosis person can transmit uh, for another person? Do you think? Definitely no. No, this patient doesn't cough. The, this latent tuberculosis patient doesn't have any, doesn't have any sign and symptoms. So uh, they contain the diseases. So uh, they doesn't transmit uh, Mycobacterium tuberculosis to other person. This is person from those nine, from those uh, infected person. Only five to ten percent of those infected person may develop to full blown disease. So at this time, the person have sign and symptom suggestive of TB, which we we commonly say is uh, TB complex symptom, which have cough of uh, two to two week and above. And uh, and night sweating, drenching type night sweating, headache, uh, significant weight loss, and also uh, anorexia or loss of appetite, and other uh, symptoms. And also their their chest X-ray may have suggestive of TB. So this is a pathogenesis. When we come to the pathogenesis of tuberculosis, uh, the person who inhales this mycobacterium tuberculosis, uh, uh, the, this mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, goes to the person's uh, alveolar area or alveolar sacs, and then they then they, they then our our in it in it first of all, at first within the first two weeks, in in our body def, defend this mycobacterium tuberculosis with the with the in it uh, immunity so there may have there 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 may have a, a inf inflammation in inflammation and also that this microphage will fight for us and then this 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 uh, the inactivated inactivated and also uh, the, the in inactivated uh, microphage uh, will be infected in this bus life will grow in those inactivated and infected microphage and multiply there. So this uh, inflammation occur in that uh, area in the lung parenchyma is called primary complex. Primary, I mean, sorry, this is uh, gohon, gohon focus or primary focus or gohon focus. So this, uh, when after two to three weeks, the, the, our body goes for the cell mediated, cell mediated, or to goes gets to to the to the adaptive mechanism of the, our immune system. So this uh, infected and this infected and inactivated microphage will drain this bacilli to the regional lymph node and. This regional lymph node commonly for the lung, the hilar lymph node become enlarged because there, there, there is a inflammation. So uh, this when this gohon focus or primary focus uh, associated with regional lymph, lymph node enlargement or lymphadenopathy, we call this primary complex of or, or gohon complex and then uh, the, the tissue reaction in the lung parenchyma and lymph node intensify over the next two to four weeks, as, uh, two to 12 weeks, as we said, and uh, as uh, the organisms grow in number in tissue, hypersensitivity develops. So the parenchymal portion of the primary complex 
often heals completely by fibrosis, fibrosis or calcification after undergoing caseous necrosis and encapsulation. So the focus of infection in the original lymph node develops some fibrosis and encapsulation, but healing is usually less complex than in the parenchyma lesion. So uh, after this, the person, the person may contain the infection, the person may contain the infection or control the infection, or the infection may cause to, uh, may progress to causing disseminated TB. So uh, they drain to, the, uh, to multiple uh, organs through bloodstream, so uh, infecting the, 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 the kidney, spleen, and liver, and other organs. So this is some some uh, uh, slides uh, giving of the 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 pathogenesis of uh, tuberculosis. So high risk of transmission. Which patient have high risk of transmission? One uh, patients who are sp sputum smear positive or FEV positive patients have high 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 risk of high risk of transmission to other person. Uh, the reason behind this is that there must be around 500 to 10,000 bacilli per millimeter of specimen to allow the detection of bacteria in the uh, stained smear. That is, the, when a, to be a, a patient is, if a smear, sputum smear is positive, there must be high load of uh, the, the mycobacterium tuberculosis. So the risk of transmission is high for this group of patients. The other is adult type cavity relation. Uh, for the adult type cavity relation, the higher risk of transmission is high. Uh, the same scenario will cause for, for, the, for this uh, reason as well. The most cases of uh, immediate TB as well as almost all cases of uh, extreme extensive drug resistance TB are cavitary diseases and their there must be 10 raised to 11 bacilli per gram to be to be the lungs be, become cavitary. So uh, the other high risk of transmission of a patient we have who, which have who have a severe and forcible cup and also endobronchial TB if it's associated with with severe and uh, forcible cup. This is granuloma. This is granuloma. And granuloma means is a, is a, it it suggests a chronic inflammation. Is in, in in our definition we start with tuberculosis, the chronic granulomatous uh, infection, which is very communicable. So granuloma suggests a chronic inflammatory condition. And in this picture, you will see you will see this is this is plasma cells. This is plasma cells. In the middle, you will see that there is a caseous necrosis. There is a caseous necrosis, which, uh, which lost the structural, which, which lost us the cellular structure. So this is, if we, which this shows us a, a caseous necrosis. And in the middle, you will see different uh, 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 microphage, Microphage and uh, cellular debris, and this is in the this what makes this very circle is that uh, there is there is a fibrous uh, lesion. This is there is a fibrous lesion which is contained. So uh, which is, this makes the scar the scar makes this a uh, very demarcated or circular lesion. So this is granuloma, and granuloma is characterized by collection of activated microphage. So here is activated microphage, uh, which we call epitheloid histocyte. And T lymphocytes here in the middle, there is T lymphocyte as well as microphage. And the, the definition of granuloma is a collection of activated microphage. And <coughs> uh, this is a Gohon complex, which this is a granuloma cellulosis. You see this uh, calcific area and is uh, regional ilar lymphadenopathy. 
I mean, this granoma plus this regional uh, hilar lymphadenopathy together called uh, primary complex or Cohen complex. This chest X-ray uh, will show us a cavitary lesion, right upper lung, apical cavitary lesion, and this patient have high risk of uh, transmission. And thank you, thank you uh, for watching us. Please subscribe, comment, and thank you for today.